Is it still worth investing in HBAR? The altcoin markets have been so up and down. There's certain altcoins that have rallied like Solana. There's other altcoins that haven't really performed the way a lot of people expected, including Hedera uh, HBAR token. And so today we're going to talk about Hedera, whether the token is still investable and a updated price prediction to the end of the year. Also going to share some important news coming out of the Hedera camp. Uh, so let's jump right in. We have here Hedera sitting at 6.73 cents down 6.28% on the day from CoinMarketCap, sitting at a $2.4 billion market cap. Now, we have Hedera here on the daily chart. Not very positive price action. As you can see here, this key level I've drawn out right around $0.07, cents, 6 dollars to be exact. This level was just lost on the daily. Now, I do want to note uh, we could see a reversal, and this could close above this horizontal trend line right around $0.07. Cents. But if it does close below, it is not a good sign, at least in the short term. As you can see here, this has been a crucial level for quite some time, going all the way back to June of 2022. As we broke above, consolidated, failed to retest, came up, got rejected, consolidated in this $0.07 cent area, and then had a rally up to around $0.10. Cents. Again, support, resistance, support, resistance, resistance. And then we blew past this, and this was a key area where uh, when Hedera went from around $0.06 cents all the way up to $0.10, cents, as we broke above, came back to retest that support and started our massive rally. And the biggest rally we've had thus far, the two biggest rallies we've had thus far, the first one here starting on February in February of 2024, where we broke above and rallied around 100%. And the more recent one, where we saw the cycle high so far for HBAR as the news of the BlackRock RWA fund came about, we came back on a wick, retested, and uh, price action went up about 160%. Again, we reclaimed this area, but have seemed to lost it again. A little bit later in the video, I'm going to talk about more price points and exactly what to expect moving forward from the Hedera chart. But let's talk a little bit about some things happening in the Hedera ecosystem. Hedera Hashgraph, this is uh, from CryptoNewsFlash.com. Hedera Hashgraph leads blockchain innovation with new scalability breakthrough. Now, uh, Hedera has always been known for its tech, for its scalability. Uh, so on Thursday, July 11th, the HBAR Foundation announced its pilot request for a proposal, also known as an RFP, to deliver a more transparent and community-supported element to grant giving. Uh, what people got to understand is these times during cycles in the bull market is when these projects tend to spend a lot of their marketing money, right? Markets are hot. New retail investors are coming in. Hey, come to our network. We'll give you grants, we'll give you money, build on our network, launch a project, launch a token, launch an NFT, launch an RWA, whatever you want to do, we will support you, we will give you the money, and it looks like this came in the perfect time. Uh, back to the article, this development comes as Hedera has been leading in crypto development activity. We'll take a look at their uh, on-chain metrics in a little bit here. So Hedera targets lending markets with these new pilots. One is the credit, develop, uh, credit market development. This grant will follow the structure of a standard THF development grant with funding allocated based on the completion of well-defined developer uh, milestones and two, credit market liquidity. This grant will be modeled after a network utilization incentive pool. The incentive pool will be evergreen and may be replenished based on ecosystem needs. Uh, the foundation is initially committing up to 10 million HBAR tokens in support of these pilots. So uh, we know Polkadot came uh, under a lot of pressure and a lot of heat after people saw what they were spending their money on. Looks like Hedera is looking to button that up just a little bit. Taking a look at the on-chain metrics here. Current accounts over 34,000. This is from the uh, Metrica.co app. 34,662 active accounts to be exact. Take a look at the created accounts. Uh, Hedera had a pretty big growth here. This is on July 20th. Starting July 19th, leading into July 21st, we saw an average of around 1,500 accounts created every six hours or so, every three hours or so. And so activity there is ramping up. Created contracts around 83. You can see all these bar graphs. And I will drop this link in the, in the uh, description so you can take a look more in depth for yourself. But anyone saying nothing's happening on Hedera truly isn't paying attention. And then more partnership news here. Deloitte, the leading, uh, the, one of the leading companies in their sector, partners with Hedera Hashgraph for next-gen blockchain solutions. 
Hedera has announced a partnership with Deloitte to enhance the verification of companies' ESG impact and sustainability claims. This partnership aims at fighting greenwash and proper, tangible impact reporting through a new tool, environmental and social impact built on the Hedera digital ledger technology. In line with the UN's sustainable development goals and multiple ESG frameworks, the ESI platform assists organizations in managing, monetizing, and reporting on sustainable efforts that also satisfy legal obligations. Hedera is a very, very unique project from an investor standpoint. It does so many things well. It's got such a great team. The founders are amazing. We've had them on the show. We've had Mans Harmon on the show multiple times, Eric Pacini on the show multiple times. They can do so many things. They're sustainable, right? You talk about uh, energy usage. They got that in the bag. Talk about partnerships. They got that in the bag with the Hedera Governing Council. You talk about the ability to tokenize RWA funds on the network. They got that because of their scalability. Uh, talk about tokenomics, pretty good tokenomics. They got that. So there's a lot of things Hedera can do and potentially moving into AI as well as we've seen multiple tweets here from uh, projects like SaucerSwap saying, hey, we are ready to handle RWA tokens on Hedera. Uh, speaking of that, we'll, we'll talk about some X news as well. And then there's a lot of exciting things happening on, on Hedera. Uh, you take a look, sometimes all it takes is one project and one dApp to really put a blockchain on the map. Could that be Karate Combat? If you've never been to a Karate Combat event, I implore you to do so. It's absolutely amazing. It's fun. It's exciting to have an IFC going on. And guess what? Hedera is at the forefront because, well, Karate Combat and the Karate Token is on the Hedera blockchain. Uh, and this is something that has grown in relevance and grown in popularity over the last few short months, you've had people like Joe Rogan attend events. You've had people, uh, you start hearing the buzz about, hey, let's duke it out, karate combat. This thing tends to come up all the time. So it's got that going for it. We know Saucer Swap or Saucer Swap, the leading decks on, on Hedera. That has been extremely popular, growing in TVL massively, by far the leading DAP on the Hedera network. Now I do wanna go back to this Hedera chart here. As mentioned before, on the daily, take a look, Hedera broke that seven cent extremely important zone, which throw on our uh, Luxalgo price action cons or excuse me, the price action concepts. Take a look at what are some immediate levels. Now, if you're looking for the absolute best price to bid on H bar, you want to have patience and wait to see if this thing can get down to that 5.1 cent level. And the range, the discount range really here is between 3.9 cents which is awfully close to the bear market bottom in 2022, up to 5.1 cents. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but if it does, and you're a believer in the project, this would be the ideal discipline zone to pick up some H bar. Now, some good news here on the short term, we are entering into a price area here between, uh, this is between 6.25 and 6.8 cents, where a lot of buying has come in for Hedera, including going all the way back to December of 2023, as we saw Hedera go from around six cents all the way up to over 10 cents. So Hedera to me is more of a longer term. We take a look at what was Hedera's all time high market cap. It was only $7.21 billion. And you got to think of it this way, right? Crypto is such a, a new and nascent space, right? We finally have the institutions here with, with the ETFs. We have BlackRock and Larry Frank going out there talking about digitizing everything, tokenizing, and well, what are, there's only a few blockchains that can really handle that and that are really trusted. And when you take a look at something like Ethereum, we already know the money's on Ethereum. But, well, what's the next one, right? You have Ondo, it's in the Ethereum ecosystem. The next one that truly makes sense is Hedera. You look at all the different partnerships they have, the people they have on their council, right? The Hedera Governing Council. You have the likes of Boeing, you have the likes of Google, you have these likes of IBM, all these massive names with massive connections who are intrinsically tied to the growth and success of the Hedera network, you're not gonna sit here and tell me that when these tokenized assets come, when these institutions decide to, to launch on a blockchain, to launch a product or service, the Hedera won't at least be considered, won't at least be considered. So $7.2 billion market cap, which had the price of Hedera right around 56 cents. If RWA takes off, which we believe it will, and Hedera can carve out a little space in that niche because it's going to be, it's going to grow to over two, three, four, five trillion dollars. And I might be undershooting it over the next few years. If Hedera can carve out a minute piece of that pie, 
I don't think a dollar fifty, two dollar Hedera H bar token price is out of uh, out of consideration here. Maybe that's me being on a more bullish side, but I'm bullish on the team. I'm bullish on what they're doing, and I'm bullish on the direction that Hedera is going. A couple of other quick hitter news here. So this is from Hedera for developers. Release of their 0.51 upgrade uh, is scheduled to go live on the mainnet. Uh, this will bring in two HIP. So Hedera improvement proposals. Proposals. One is HIP 906 which is the Hedera Account Service System Contract Allowances. The second one, very interesting, is HIP 206. This is Smart Contract Atomic Transfers. And you can see here from uh, this part of the thread, performance, I'm going to go uh, scroll up here a little bit. So perform atomic crypto transfers. This means HBAR, FT, and NFT transfers in the same contract transaction. These transfers honor HTS token royalties and custom fees. That's the other thing with Hedera is they're very, very forward looking. And the last post I want to share here is unfortunately DBS bank has concluded their tenure with the Hedera council. So we're excited to see who is going to fill the seat, who are going to be some of the new Hedera council members. This is the great thing. There's a term limit on how long you can serve on the Hedera governing council, continuing to bring in fresh faces, fresh perspective, fresh capital potentially, and fresh connections. Well, Hedera look to the AI sector or an AI expert company to bring into their governing council. Are they going to look to get into the AI world? We know the RWA world is right in their grasp. We're super bullish on Hedera at Sin City Crypto. Are you? Let us know in the comment section. What is your price prediction for Hedera in this bull market? Also, come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.